Hi there, my name is Matthew, AKA EasyBot, and today I wanna to talk about using your OctaTrack all by its lonesome. What I mean by that is I do all the arranging of my composition in the OctaTrack, and then when I'm done, there's no other machines, just the OctaTrack on the table, and I do my performance there. So you can sample into it, you can load samples into the CF card, do whatever you want, but in the end, it's just the OctaTrack. Right now, I've already got that set up. I have my OctaTrack ready to go. I have my template fully completed on how I like to have it set up. And if you're interested in grabbing this template, it'll be available on my Patreon and possibly on my coffee page. And what it is, is some really general usable DJ effects plus a looper and then six free static tracks or flex tracks, however you want it to be. Let me give you a demo of the effects right off the bat so you can know that this is a usable concept and it will probably help you get a lot of music done or fast forward you through setting up your OctaTrack if you just use this uh, concept, at least I think so. So let's check it out. We have 16 total scene effects that we can use per part on the OctaTrack. The way this is set up is that you would use these eight effects right here on all your four parts, and then you can load up whatever you want on these eight effects based on the content that you have loaded into your tracks. So right here we have a low pass filter, which I have set up here. That's on the master track. So we have a master track. We have a high pass filter. Then we have a kind of a band pass, smile pass type filter. Then we have a tape stop effect. Which is a lot of fun. Then we have an echo freeze. Let me add some more sounds, so. And then we have the Daft Punk effect, which is a half note looper. We have reverse, let's set up our reverse. So to use reverse, we wanna hit yes and arm our record track, which is what we have on track seven here. So this is also for making um, transitions, but we can also reverse it here. This sounds really cool. Reverse right into a freeze. Back into our composition, a lot of fun, right? But also we can just go over to a four bar recording and uh, your audience doesn't know the wiser. And at this point we can like add some more elements. But this is also when you'd be able to mute and unmute your tracks on your OctaTrack. This is kind of the big deal here, right? So something to talk about, the OctaTrack doesn't have pattern mutes, that sucks. But we can get around that with using a flex track that's recorded a four bar loop. What we're able to do while we've transitioned over to our four bar loop is unmute things. And that kind of makes the OctaTrack super performable on its own. So I can have six tracks set up as flex or static tracks, turn slice on or off, it's up to you. And I can just build a complex composition with these six tracks and then use track seven as a looper and a reverse effect and track eight as a master um, freeze delay and as my master filter. And then I'm set up to do some really amazing compositions because with slices on the OctaTrack, you can get plenty of work done. You can put all sorts of sounds on different tracks. You can layer sounds. You can go into your audio editor. We'll go over here just to demonstrate. You can go into your audio editor, um, hit yes, and go down to your paste mode. Check this out change your paste mode, there's a mix mode in your paste mode. So if you want, you can select a snare and overdub that snare, just copying that slice of a snare, go over to your kick drum and paste it onto your kick drum. You get what I'm saying? We can make versions of our drums layer on top of each other and you can do it super fast. You just save that sample as a new sample, keep your regular kick, but then load up your kick with the snare on step five or whatever for making techno and boom, it's really that easy. And after you get used to navigating your audio editor menu, which can be a little cumbersome, I do understand that, you'll feel really confident about what you're doing. So again, here's the whole idea. We have six tracks, six stereo tracks that we can do anything we want with. We have our incoming audio coming through the mixer for sampling and or working with other instruments if we want to incorporate them in with our OctaTrack. Our effects actually mute 
the incoming audio if we're on this scene or this scene. That way we can't hear these machines when we're trying to do loops or reverses, which is really great. And then we have these generic kind of DJ effects to help us just move around within our song and have a little bit of fun and animate the music. But then we also have all eight of these scenes free for augmenting our audio that we've added into our tracks on the Octatrack. So that pretty much sums it. That's the whole idea behind my uh, template that I'm gonna be releasing right now. This is how I like to use the Octatrack. I do this every time. The reason why I'm doing it as a template now is because just save myself time. I'm gonna have this saved across every pattern, every bank, and every part. So when you download the template off my Patreon or off Kofi, it's ready to go. You can fill your Octatrack with sounds. I also like to have my Octatrack set up to save my samples to the project folder and not to the audio folder that's in the Octatrack. By default, it saves to the audio folder. If you save it to the project folder, you're not gonna make this crazy mess in your audio folder and you can keep that nice and organized. So I do recommend doing that. Another setting that's in here that I haven't mentioned is that I do have it set at 24 bit. So it's got a higher dynamic range. So that's something I do recommend that you set up on your Octatrack when you're starting a new project. Otherwise, this is all ready to go. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the little bit of tutorial-esque content that happened in the midst of my demonstration here. If you wanna know how to set up these effects and build these cool effects that I have in the Octatrack, they're all available on my YouTube channel right now. So you can go through and check it out and maybe I'll have links pop up above my head saying, here's how you do this, here's how you do that. Anyway, there's still reason to be super excited about the Octatrack. It's been around for a while. There's still nothing around that can compete with it that I can build these performance effects with, that I can have so much fun with. It's definitely the desert island box, right? I'm Matthew. I'll see you next time.